government trade is the cornerstone of Obama's economic policy. Here's what you need to know about cap and trade. It's a tax on fossil fuels. That's why we call it cap and tax. Cap and tax. The goal of, of cap and trade is to make energy more expensive so we lose, use less of it. That's right, making energy more expensive for you. No good. No good can come from higher energy prices. Higher energy prices will be devastating to our economy. Higher energy prices will drive jobs overseas. Higher energy prices will put more Americans out of work. Higher energy prices will reduce your standard of living. The more money that you pay for gasoline, heat, and electricity, is the less money you're going to have to spend on food, clothes, and entertainment. Less money for you to invest and save. The impact of cap and trade on energy prices is not a secret. President Obama promised us when he was running that under his cap and trade system, electricity prices would necessarily skyrocket. But nobody believed him. I did. Obama's big business allies are the driving force behind his cap and trade policy. Companies such as General Electric. General Electric, Duke Energy, Johnson & Johnson played a key role in passing the Waxman Markey cap and trade bill last year. Wall Street is also helping Obama. Goldman Sachs. Whoa. JP Morgan Chase. Whoa. They want cap and trade so they can gamble again on carbon credits. That's right. The companies that you bought out are now selling you out. That's right. Fellow Patriot CEOs are as dangerous to our liberty as progressive politicians. There are two things that we need to do. The first is stop cap and trade if it reels its ugly head in the Senate during the lame duck session. It needs to go down. Yeah. The second is it's time we the people let CEOs know there will be a price to pay when they seek laws that will loot us of our liberty. Let's make them pay. Make them pay. Let's hear it. Make them pay. Make them pay. Make them pay. I want each and every one of you and tell your family member and friends to go to bigbusinesswatch.org and sign our petition that urges GE CEO Jeff Ilmel to resign. Under Immelt, they have sold infrastructure equipment to Iran. To Iran! They own the network that says you're racist, MSNBC. They settled twice with the Security Exchange Commission, once for cooking the books and once for kickbacks to Saddam Hussein's crew. They lobby for the $787 billion stimulus so they can loot you, the taxpayer, with their corporate greed. In the new order of New world order of too big to fail. We can't afford incompetent CEOs. Jeff must go. Jeff must go. Jeff must go. Jeff must go. Go to bigbusiness.org. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America.